Hey guys, it's me, Karsten, and for tonight's video, I thought it would be a good idea to do a Q&A, but I didn't want to do just any old Q&A. I decided I'm going to do a skincare routine whilst answering some of your guys' questions. So I have all the questions written down on a bit of paper over here, and I'm basically just going to answer them while I'm showing you guys my skincare routine. But basically, I don't actually really have a proper routine that I do every single night because my skin is really sensitive. I can't do this every single night. Most nights I kind of just wash my face with a bit of water, sometimes a bit of like Dove soap and that's it. So I'm just going to show you guys that whilst answering the questions. So without further ado, let's get on to it. Well, I've obviously just came out of the bath. I obviously washed my hair. So the first thing I do after I get out of the bath is I shove my hair up and start to take off anything that's on my face. Today I haven't had anything because I've just had a bit of a lazy day so there was no need to go putting makeup on. I barely wear makeup anyway. I'm gonna go put my hair up just now. So I just put my hair up in this weird like bun thing and I look an absolute mess but who cares? I'm in like baggy clothes right now. You can't see but <laughs> I'm wearing my boyfriend's boxers. <laughs> but basically I'll show you the stuff that I use first. I use pretty much everything i use on my face is this neutrogena stuff because it's actually the only stuff that hasn't made my skin go in a rash so i have this pink grapefruit facial wash then i have the neutrogena pink grapefruit daily scrub and then i have the neutrogena pink grapefruit oil free moisturizer which i use at the end i use the popcorn lip scrub from Lush, which isn't really my favourite like flavour or scent from the lip scrub range, but it's the only one I've got just now that hasn't gone dry, so we're going to use this. Also, normally when I'm doing this, I do listen to music, but I can't really play that because I'll get copyright and I really don't want to get that. So normally I'm singing my mums out to musical tracks and everything, and I've got like a pantomime coming up, so I'm like practicing all the songs from that. So I've got a bit of 9 to 5, I've got Christmas songs, it's just great. But I'll say I can't do that, so. so. The first thing I do is I pretty much fill up the sink with some warm water. Okay, I was just listening to the songs while the sink was filling up. Start by washing my face with the facial wash. Basically, the first question I got was my favourite YouTubers. And I have quite a few favourite YouTubers, but I'd say right now my favourite, like, inspirational one would be Anastasia. I just think she's got such a great attitude. And I just... Really enjoy watching her videos and her little brother's like the absolute cutest thing ever. So she's definitely one of my favourites at the moment. I also watch a lot of like family vloggers like the Norris Knots, Ingham Family, Family Fez, like those kind of people. And Dad V Girls also, I'm loving Dad V Girls at the moment. Like probably those are like my top five I think I said. Worst habit, so I don't really know about this to be honest. Like, I do like this weird thing with my lips. Like, when I'm nervous, I go like this. It sounds really weird, but yeah, it's just the kind of nervous thing I do. I also play on my hair a lot. Dream job, which my dream job is to start off on Broadway. Also, after that, because obviously you can't really be on Broadway all your life, then to open up my own little like dance studio. And yeah, I just think it'd be really fun to do that. I'm also going to wash this off my face just now, so... So, the next question I got was, who's your best friends? My two best friends from, like, around where I live are Sophie and Sophia, obviously. I actually count my brother as being one of my best friends because we spend a lot of time together and we enjoy the same things. We're pretty much the same people, to be honest. Uh, my boyfriend is also my best friend. And then I've got a few like internet best friends like Kimberly. So yeah, shout out to Kimberly. She has also done a q and I'll leave her name and channel name in the description below. So go give her video a like and subscribe to her channel also. So 
yeah another question i got was life plans which is quite a deep question um obviously broadway big plan of mine really want to get on broadway um obviously start a family not at the moment far too young for that also i don't know if i mentioned i'm on to the daily scrub now so yeah i also really want to move away i'm not 100 percent sure but i went to finland a while ago pretty much fell in love with the place like the culture and everything was just my type of place it's just so chilled out there and the scenery there is incredible so definitely want to at least visit finland a couple more times but ideal would be to move to finland um, but live like in a country house that's my life plans don't really know what else to say uh, this one is sent in by my good friend elliot and he has sent in this question every single time i've posted anything about doing the q a and it is if you punch yourself and knock yourself out are you strong or weak and i'm not going to answer that because i have no clue to be completely honest dream destination new york no doubt about it love to go me and my brother have huge plans of going to new york but yeah um do you have a secret crush? I do. It's called my boyfriend. Um, so obviously I have a boyfriend. So don't have a secret crush because my secret crush is my boyfriend. So <laughs> yeah. I um, literally just washed off the daily scrub and I'm going to go on to doing the lip scrub just now. Fave thing to do in your spare time, dance. Um, I've also started singing, which is kind of new to me well very new to me i used to not sing ever because i used to be really bad but i'm kind of getting somewhere like i'm not amazing i'm really not great but i'm getting somewhere so that's fine um but yeah probably just singing and dancing favorite feature about myself so i've got to say i really love my eyes i think my eyes are really nice and also i know it sounds really weird but like just my figure, I'm really proud of how I've came along because if you've seen like pictures of me in like primary school and like even high school, I was I was quite out of shape and not looking the best. But recently I've just kind of worked my way into having a nice our body. Like I'm not saying I look bad at all because I generally don't think anyone looks bad. But I've just gotten to where I wanted to be. Back then I was really miserable and I got bullied a lot. Eyes and like figure in general. So I'm going to start putting on my moisturiser. Favourite character from Stranger Things and also favourite season and favourite scene. So I'm just going to answer all these together. Um, Favourite character is Dustin. Like out of the guys, it's definitely Dustin. Out of the girls, it's Max. I just think they're two really good characters favorite season i've got to say season three i just thought it was so much more interesting so like they shot a lot of it in the mall which was really fun to me and i felt like that was when max and billy's characters like really progressed in it so it was like really good um and yeah i just felt like the storyline of that one was so good like everything about it just fell into place the ending had me in tears i'm not going to spoil for anyone because i hate spoilers and personally it got spoiled for me so i really didn't enjoy that but if you're planning on watching it be prepared to cry My favorite scene is definitely no doubt about it the scene where dustin and his girlfriend susie finally like talk to each other again and they're trying to get like this code thing Susie's like oh I can't tell you it because you should know it you need to sing the song and then I'll tell you and he's like I'm not singing the song this is serious we're trying to save the world here and then she makes him sing the song and it's never ending story so it's really catchy and it's just such a good scene because that scene in itself is probably one of the most intense moments ever and just adding in that was just like comedy gold like it was hilarious so that was definitely my favourite scene and there's no doubt about that. But yeah. Um, are you doing Vlogmas this year? I am doing Vlogmas but I'm not doing it daily. I'm going to do it weekly because daily is far too much stress for me. 
But yeah, that's the end of my skincare routine. Like I said, it's really nothing special. I can't use that much on my face anyway. So that's the end of my skincare routine slash q and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Also comment down below what kind of videos you want to see me do next. I have a huge list of videos that I want to do in the future and a lot of them will be coming soon so yeah and i will see you guys in my next video bye